And uh, talking about you, you touched on Victor Sime because I was actually coming to that. Um, he's gonna be out. He broke his uh, cheekbone, something like yeah. that. And uh, he's, I think, I don't know if he has undergone the surgery, but uh, he's going to undergo surgery on the injury, and he will likely be out for two months. I saw two months, so I don't know. I saw it from an Italian journalist, so I don't know if the two months is cumulating from the Napoli angle because if he missed one month and the next month is for Afcon, so maybe two months. So I don't know. I saw one month elsewhere. Most likely, I'm getting it for for the Afcon. Most likely, because he will not be at the initials. And uh, so how big of a blow? I mean, he's our most informed striker. I mean, I was at the stadium on the day. You know, the fans chanted his name about five different occasions. Like it was the player giving everything. You know, chasing every ball. You know, winning every you know every draw with his defenders. You know, the the chance where you know he was encouraging. The whole stadium was buzzing Osimhen, Osimhen. And now looking at the fact that we might miss him for the Afcon, how big of a miss will be Victor Osimhen? Is this the reason why Odrian Gallo is being recalled? You know, you know these things are just happening. Another, but you know, how big of a miss is? Uh, it's painful. Be? It's painful for me coming from from me because I've got a lot riding on. You know things that I want to do and build around Victor Simic, so yeah. it's heartbreaking for me. Uh, career-wise, too, for the young man. I mean, this is a guy. His story is a beautiful story, but then his football story is also leading with. I think it's going to be his first major tournament. Yeah. He'll be going as the as a lead first man. Year lead man. Yeah. And his career is also blighted with injuries at very very wrong turn. But he's a beast. He's he's a he's a, he's a cat with nine lives or more than nine lives. He always come up better after every setback. So this is not going to be different. The Victor Simeon that I know will come back better than this injury. I hope and pray that he comes back and ready and goes to the Nations Cup. But as a striker, you would have lost a whole lot. Uh, you get your, your cheekbone broken. Uh, thanks to contact, science. Yeah. But now you'll be afraid of contact. It might be, need to wear mask and all that. His club might advise him, no, you can't go to the AFCON anymore. We are in the Shindig for the title. We might not win the title because AC Milan is not looking like they're turning back. Inter Milan is also not looking like they're going to really clinch that title easily. But we want to be in the dogfight to the very end of it. We need you. Uh, we would we'd rather see you dress than go to Africa. One positive side out of this conversation that just, you no, know, a bit positive. He didn't get his injury playing for Nigeria. Mm. Yeah, because all those talk of, oh, when you go and represent Nigeria, you get injured, nobody takes care of you. That talk is not in the conversation right now. So football, you can get injured anywhere. But I pray that there is a miraculous PD recovery that makes him come back and play for Nigeria at the Nations Cup. Not just for the sake of Nigeria, for the sake of the boy. I, 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 just, I just like, you all know that I like uh, Victor Osime. Like, I love him like he's my kid brother and all that. I want to see him at the very, very top. But if push comes to shove, he's not going to be available. Gonna carry the table. We're also not sure if he's going to be available. We've got to move on. We've got to move on, win for them. We've got to select a team that can win for them. We've got to select a team that they, whatever they are sitting, they will be rejoicing at the victory of the team. This happens in football. Anybody that is playing football and say he doesn't understand, he doesn't uh, know that injury is part of the game, the person is being delusional. So I think they all know that injury is part of the game. You're, yeah. you, you, that's why you're taking one game at a time. Uh, they're going to come back stronger, better, and sharper, hopefully, at the end of the day. But for the question you ask, how much of a big blow? You have a player who have a record of one goal every two games. That's a massive blow. That's a super, super massive blow. But then, Machiavellian principle. It takes one kingdom to fall for another to rise. Uh, it means that people like them, Paul Onuachu, Dessa, Henry Yekuru, whoever gets the nod to start, will not have yeah, to... Taiwa Wani as well. Taiwa you know. is in the, in the wings. I, 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 I'm happy for Taiwa Wani. Because what Taiwa Wani has shown also is the fact that... Scored again this past weekend. I have been ready since. What I've not got is the opportunity. Nothing changed from that boy that played in the under-17. I am star that same boy. Call him the child of grace, call him child of destiny, call him the beast, but he's a footballer that has been ready and when he gets his opportunity, he delivers. It doesn't, his size, his age, his personality don't count. Uh, Taiwa Wani is the man. I would go for Taiwa Wani straight away as a straight swap to replace Victor Osime. I mean, there is, it's not gain saying, there's no magic to it. Nigeria really needs to fix people like Moses Simon, people like Chukwizi, Ejuke Chidera. Nigeria yeah. needs to fix those guys as fast as possible. If we can fix those people, well, good as they come. 
And talking about Victor Osime, you know, it wasn't. I saw images of you know the the it, it changed changed changes his look if and you know this this you know the, this he was swollen and all that. So, but I wish him a speedy recovery and uh, a successful uh, surgery. And uh, we hope to see him back playing on the pitch soon. You are listening to a Legbete TV radio.